Hello everyone, it is currently around 8pm on the 30th of May and the season patch notes for 4.0 of Splatoon 3 have dropped and I figured instead of going through a whole patch notes comparison video we will just look through the entire patch notes and just give some thoughts and feelings on it and just see what they're like. So without further ado, I say we just get right into this and just kind of go through the notes. First of all, there's some stuff going on with the patch notes and catalog stuff that's pretty much expected to go off, table tower of cards, music. And the two main weapons, that's pretty cool. A new blaster weapon that can switch between two ways of shooting. Normally it fires shots that have similar small explosions in exchange for the ability to hit dar distant targets quickly. When the player jumps and fires, the weapon will release shots that are larger and back by shorter range. That's pretty much what we saw. The first swing of the paintbrush is slow, but in exchange it continuously flings powerful ink shots at great distance. Again, something we've seen. Another benefit of offset and slow swing and uh, ability to ink turf, yeah. Pretty cool. This is like similar, this right here is similar to Octobrush, so I don't think it's going to be too much different from it. And then we've got all the, well, new kits and all that. Pretty awesome. I'm still quite really, I'm partially scared for Spiltana Deco, but I'm more interested for Sorella Brella. That's going to be pretty cool to look at. Weapon balances and changes. Carbon Deco and Carbon Roller. When players hold ZR while it moves into the ink, they will now reach a top speed of one sixth of, the f of a faster second than before. This is actually a good buff for like any roller at that. It's called a roller. For not for a reason, not a not a flixy except for the plingsa, not a flixy, not anything else, a roller. Octobrush reduce the amount of ink consumption by swinging the brush by approximately six percent, and reduce the amount of ink consumption when holding the ZR button when moving for, when moving when moving forward by approximately seven percent. Cool. So brush has got a minor buff with just in consumption as a whole. Wasn't a major problem with it, but it's cool to see it get above. Sniper at 5 age, reduce the amount of inconsumption with 30% and increase moving speed while charging uh, by 13%. Again, a very slight buff, well it's not a very slight buff, that's actually a pretty decent buff for especially Snipe Rider, because Snipe Rider is the only version of Snipe Rider. Because Snipe Rider can't store its charge, this is actually going to be pretty decent for what it has. Pretty cool, actually. Splash and Neo Splash. Shortened forward ink spread from the point of impact by approximately 10%. What does that mean? Um, I think it actually is referring to, well, it's referring to ink spread, so I'm thinking it's talking about when the shots land, it's talking about, like, how far they spread out when they land at the furthest point of their shot. So it's shortened the forward ink spread of that, and it's, like, pulled back. Slosh Machine. Lengthen the interval between continuous swings by approximately 5 60th of a second. Don't know why it has to be that specific, but okay, 5 frames. Interesting. I feel like if your machine gets retweaked in some ways, this could be a pretty decent nerf. But right now, it's... I mean, I still think machine's pretty broken in its own right. It's a freaking three-shot blaster, like, spammer, but it's not a blaster. It's stupid. They can hit way more over walls than anything like that. It's cringe. This is... Maybe if it gets retweaked, it could be alright. And then Splatana Stamper getting some changes. Now the width of ink launch by horizontal slashes by approximately 14% and increase the amount of ink consumption by approximately 30%. Damn, Splatana Stamper getting hit like a truck. I recently had some problems with fighting Splatana Stamper. Not major problems, but just some nitpicks that just kind of happen. Like, you're trying to run away, run a corner, and then Splatana Stamper just goes and just flicks you with its horizontal slash, and it just catches you before you run the corner. This means that the shots are going to be much, like, much more precise in terms of ink being launched. It's going to be very slight, but it's that slight bit will do a tiny bit more difference. Just It'll be, it'll be difficult to readjust to that little slit. It'll be a wee nitpick. And then, of course, the ink consumption, that's going to be pretty big for its ink consumption. Special changes, let's see this. Big Bubbler, increase the barrier's radius and reduce the damage taken from special weapons approximately 50 to 75%. Bro, okay. That's not massive, but it's actually, at the same time, pretty massive, depending on the situ situation. If this is for things like Crab Tank, Trizuka, uh, Ultra Stamp and all that, and Kraken, this is pretty good. The maximum barrier radius is basically allowing more housingness inside of the bubbler and then the reduced damage taking is of course is gonna be pretty big as well. Tactical or extend the drinks effect by approximately two seconds when not equipped with special power up. Maybe blah, blah 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 Okay, that's just talking about the special power up when not got changed. And made it easier to activate the effect with special power up like gear abilities even when the player has left here. Okay, so a uh, duration buff and Special power up buff, a spew buff. Super jump, increase the radius of grounded ink when decoys drop by approximately 40% and increase the maximum damage dealt when decoys explosion. When decoy decoys explosion. Decoys explode by 25 from 25 to 35. Decent there. Okay. Made possible to aim for near positions than before. Okay, so this just means you can shoot close to them before. That might actually be a nice little thing to have. These two right here will actually do pretty nice things for when you actually use it in game. Like having a radius of the ground being ink when it when they drop, not when they explode, but when they drop, is pretty good actually. 
That just means you can allow, it just allows a lot more turf before even the shots go off and can be a bit more of a distraction against enemies. 40% is a lot as well. And then the 25 to 35 damage increase is going to be a bit more like threatening. So that'd be pretty cool. Ultra Stamp, shorten the effect duration by approximately one and a half seconds when not equipped with special power up. Blah, 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 and the gear not changed. Okay, so that's the same as this before. Then made it easy to activate the, okay. So, tactical or, uh, oh, the voice crack. Of course, Scooby, like Zoy Scoob. So we're getting two mediocre specials getting some duration changes, one of which getting a buff and the other one getting a nerf. For Ultra Stamp getting its, we call it, its stamp, um, shockwave hitbox buffed. That's actually, I can understand whether, why the devs went for that, that's pretty cool. And then Tactical Alert, this won't be a big thing, but if the maps do get changed somewhere in the future where they add a lot more roads, or just even some things get changed that allow Tactical to become more viable in some cases, this could be pretty big. I know two seconds isn't much, but for an extended time, that just allows a little more. Points for Special Reduction, Neo Splash getting a reduction, or sorry, a ten, an increase of 10 points. Pretty good, actually. Obviously, this isn't regular Splash, but this is still one like a very mass output for paint so that's pretty cool and then ballpoint and deco getting an increase of 10 points that by themselves as well this i can understand because of the inkjet buff that was given recently that is fair this does kind of pull it back a little bit only by a, a bit but it's still something to consider for it it just it does it just kind of kind of balances a little bit and then there's some sand run changes i'm not gonna go through all the stuff up here but there is some sand run changes which i'll probably go through right now that i'm a roller reduce the amount of ink consumption from like about 25 percent for both swings but just the amount of ink consumption with holding the zero button when roller pretty much that's pretty much a paint buff cool ultra brush Swing brush, okay, that's pretty much the same as what they got before. Increase the damage dealt when holding holding ZR, basically when rolling by 42%. Okay, so that's actually a slight buff, so I can means I can deal with some things better. Sniper 5H, increase the damage dealt by full charge by approximately 33%, reduce the damage increase, or reduce the amount of ink, ink consumption when firing charge. Okay, so pretty much the same as what they got before, but a little, a little bit more for damage. Slushers, increase damage dealt by dealt by about 40%. Pretty nice there, something like there. Tambrella, increase damage from burst shots. By 28%, increase the maximum damage with a single shot. Single shot? That's for a single shot? Okay. And increase damage to the Brella, the Brella itself by 50%. Small buffs, but they're coming up to be pretty big. Undercover Brella, increase the maximum ink damage dealt to shots by 20%. Increase the damage dealt to Brellas by approximately 25%. Okay, so some, again, the same the same thing as the other one, just a little bit less. Try to increase the damage dealt from the first charge level by 33%. No change to the second level. Okay, so that's just a wee slight buff for the first charge, just to allow it so it can deal with close range stuff that it needs to charge. Reflux, increase the damage dealt when firing by approximately 6%. Increase the damage dealt by the first level by 4%. No change to the second charge. Okay, so pretty much these are the same thing. Just reflux is getting a little more from both things, and treasuring is getting the first, um, first level getting a bit changed a little bit. And then we've got some small things below it, like doubling the fish scales and all that. Made it possible to join X for solo. Some small things which I'm not gonna go through, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Although I'm curious to quickly go through the bug fix it because recently there's been a lot of wee like nitpick bugs that have happened since the start of the chills or sorry the fresh season, and I'm curious to see if some of them got patched. Oh, okay, this actually is pretty good. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Brella buffs? Wait a minute. Fixing an issue with the area of splat brellas and undercover brella shot blocking enemy shots was smaller than it appeared. So, okay. That's something. I don't know if that means the brellas can be completely fixed, but that could be a sign. That could definitely be a sign. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Fixing an issue where walls were sometimes not ink properly when cracking. When players activated Kraken Royale near the wall and then immediately climbed it. Oh, this is actually so good. Okay, I'm not, I'm not showing this. At least on the channel yet, but there I've like had a few clips and a few moments where I've just been messing around in the lobby and I've just I mean, I've just climbed the wall of Kraken just after jumping just after activating and jumping the wall and yet it's just not turf the wall. It's very funny. It's very stupid. Oh wait a minute, hold on. This is another thing. There's a rare issue where the ink where an ink rail would sometimes vanish if the player hit this this the ink rail start point when an attack right before the ink rail stopped working. This again is another bug that I like me and they have actually interacted with way back day one of the fresh season on Umami. We were just messing around and boom, we just managed to make the rail invisible and we were flying like we birdies. We took, we ascended to the skies. Yeah, that's pretty much all the patch notes for this. That's pretty cool, honestly. There's a lot of small things that are going into like fixing and recalibrating some weapons. I feel like long term, these could add up to be pretty strong, but Overall, patch notes are pretty solid. I don't have many complaints to say about it. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the patch notes. And yeah, if you guys like this video, then you should do the you do the normal things that everyone else does: subscribe, like, blah blah blah, comment, tell me what your favorite part was. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and I'll see you next time.